Greetings, comrades. Every bread-blooded communist out there knows what fully automated gay space communism is. And if you don't, you should. Because it's our dream, our goal, the hope that one day humanity will live peacefully in luxurious, decentralized, automated space colonies. Space colonies! And it's something we can have. And we can have it soon. In fact, it's really kind of confusing that we don't already have it. <clears throat> it's a great idea, isn't it? Fully automated gay space communism. It's what, what, what's wrong with it? Honestly, I think it's just a branding problem. That's it. So how do we fix it? I'm thinking, well, let's first understand why it's a branding problem. It's kind of long, and the acronym looks like this. Yeah. So here's what I'm thinking. Three little letters. A-I-L. Automated Interstellar Libertarianism. Now I know what you're thinking. Libertarianism? I was on board for a second, but wait, whoa, 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 I'm not with those people. Well, actually, libertarianism is anarchism. By definition, that's why those on the right that call themselves libertarians, the neo-libertarians, uh, they call themselves that. <clears throat> the ANCAPs is another way of call is another name for them. The right has this wonderful thing in, ca in capitalism where it co-ops ideas from the left and then sells them to you. They do that with the woke branding moment and you know they, they try to be like oh we're all gay friendly and we love the LGBT community buy our stuff buy 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 they don't actually give a fuck they just want to sell you stuff but we care we want an inclusive society that's what ale is. The ANCAPs the right libertarians took the term libertarian and we should take it back. Classical libertarian is just a fancy way of saying anarcho-communist, which is great because it allows us to bring our ideas into general discourse without it getting blocked by decades and decades of propaganda and capitalist realism digging into people's minds and just shutting them down anytime we uh, we want to have a discussion with them. Another great YouTuber by the name of Reeducation has a video about how a lot of conservatives, quote conservatives, actually have a lot in common with us on the left. They just don't want to listen to us because they, they, they have it in their head that commies are bad. Anarchist means chaos. Although, let's be honest, there's a lot of anarchists that make it seem like chaos is the definition. But politically speaking, anarchism is not chaos. It is an ideology of questioning and eliminating unnecessary hierarchies. Libertarian is just a fancy way of saying it. I like the term libertarian. It's fancy, it's nice, it's cool. It's, it's, it come, it's derived from the word liberty because you want freedom. Freedom from unnecessary hierarchies. Freedom from people above you trying to control you. And as I mentioned in Reeducation's video, he talks about how a lot of people on the right have a lot in common with us because we're all the proletariat. And so they, they just don't like the words. They've been raised to hate the words of the left. So we need to take one that they've taken and decided was okay and take it back and start using it ourselves the way it is meant to be. If you want to talk to someone who doesn't, who you don't think will take kindly to you being an anarchist, call yourself a classical libertarian. And they'll be like, oh, I like libertarians. What's a classical libertarian? And you say, oh, it's just, you know, I just don't believe in, uh, I think all hierarchies should be questioned, and that uh, if they we decide they're unnecessary, they should be uh, dissolved and gotten rid of. And they'll probably agree with you. They'll be like, yeah, that's, that makes a lot of sense. I, I think I, I fancy myself a classical libertarian as well. And you just think in your head, yeah, buddy, welcome, welcome to the left. <laughs> okay. So, libertarian. Actually, good. Let's take that back. Now... We're dissecting the word, but we're doing it backwards. So, L, libertarian, I, interplanetary. It's time we left Earth. Let's just face it. Capitalism has raped and destroyed the planet. It's just the way it is. It's, it, they've extracted all the resources, and the, the skies are full of smog, global warming is happening, and the capitalists, the two richest people on Earth, well, not the two richest, one of the richest people on Earth, and some other, and the real-life Tony Stark, uh, Bezos and Musk want to go to Mars. They think the solution is to go to Mars. Now, that doesn't really make sense. But there's a lot of money to be made from Mars. If you have Mars colonies out there, 
um, they can do that. But there's an actual way that we've known about since at least the 60s called O'Neill cylinders. If you've ever played the game Halo, you're familiar with the concept. Um, except that was a ring rather than a cylinder. But basically what they are are miniature ecosystems that are built out in space. Uh, they're not difficult to make. We have all kinds of scientific uh, uh, <clears throat> research done about them. There have been many books, uh, science fiction books written about them. Uh, and in fact, uh, a certain YouTuber by the name of Isaac Arthur, who I will link in the description alongside uh, Reeducation, uh, has a great video about them. And uh, they're not hard to make, and we've had uh, uh, a scientific society called the L5 Society that he discusses in the video uh, that have actually, again, since like the 60s, uh, have been uh, uh, discussing it. We have all the materials in the, in the, uh, in the asteroid belt, and uh, it's really, uh, it's, it's something we can do. The reason we don't do it now is because it takes, under capitalism, you would have to do it for, in a way that is profitable, and it would have an extreme upfront cost. You would have to get all the materials up there, you'd have to discuss it and build it and test things out, and, and you can't share your ideas with anybody else because then they might steal your ideas and do it and make money off of your ideas. This would not be a problem for us on the left and under ale, because our, our incentive is not profit, it is standard of living. All we're trying to do is raise the standard of living for everybody at once. Um, but again, under capitalism, you can't do that because the only the only thing you have to the only thing you can do is is something that makes money. That's all. That's that's the only thing you can do. You can only do something if it's profitable. So you'd have to upfront trillions of dollars, billions maybe, maybe not trillions, but billions. Um, but either way, more money than anybody really has access to to try something that has never actually been tested before, but has been thought about. Uh, and then you'd have to charge people to do it. And then even if it worked it would still be owned by somebody. You would live, your entire life would be in this tube and you would be under the thumb of someone. And so if we don't kill ourselves on Earth and we manage to get off, whether it be on Mars or in O'Neill cylinders, we, we, would, we would become serfs and it would be awful. Under anarchism, libertarianism, we would be free and we would be living on these things and we would make them and make them run all by ourselves. We would have unlimited of them and then we could make different ones for different people, uh, different, and, and they could become their own nation states essentially. And we could all do this and we could create a Dyson swarm around the sun. They could be powered solar. It, it's excellent. Isaac Arthur covers it in his video very well. And finally, automation. The first important, important thing, the A in ale. The, uh, it's, it's automation. It's coming. There's nothing we can do about it. Automation is cancer to capitalism because capitalism is predicated on wage labor. But the capitalists and the wage laborers are fundamentally at odds to each other uh, because the capitalists want to lower wages and raise profits, uh, raise productivity. The best way you can do that is with a robot. You don't have to pay them, they don't steal, they don't take days off, they don't take bathroom breaks. You, all have, you just have to buy them and maintain them and that's it. And, you sudden, and they work 24 hours a day for months at a time at, the, at least. Then you can fire everybody. But again, it's cancer to capitalism because then you have to displace workers and nobody can buy your stuff. It's really, really tempting. It's, 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 basically, it's basically the heroin of capitalism. It's super tempting. It's a, it seems like a great idea, but you know it's going to kill you eventually. But communism is birthed by automation. The more we can automate, the less we have to do. Because again, we're not doing things for profit. We're doing things to, because we like them. We're just, our goal is not to make money for some. It's to raise the standard of living for all. So if we, someone needs to clean the toilets. If we can automate that, no one needs to clean the toilets anymore. But the toilets still get cleaned. Under capitalism, somebody's out of a job, you can just pay them to clean the toilet. But if you suddenly have a bunch of people cleaning toilets, and then you build a robot that does it, you have to fire all those people. So your toilets still get cleaned, but then those people are homeless. 
it really doesn't work. It works great for communism, though. Automation is fabulous. So we could, we could literally live in Star Trek. That's what ale is. It's basically we're trying to make Star Trek in real life, and it is 100% totally possible. So to summarize, ale is to bring all the disparate groups on the left together. The one thing leftists are notoriously bad at is actually working together. Well, here's one brand we can all get behind, because it's simple, but it's direct, and we all agree with it. Automated interstellar libertarianism. Automation is inevitable. Instead of letting us destroy us, let's let it build us up. We'll utilize the power of mass surveillance and AI to our advantage rather than to our detriment. If, all the, if, the, if mass surveillance and AI isn't owned by anybody, but in fact owned by everybody, then we could utilize it to our benefit rather than just having it know everything about us to sell us ads. It can, we can use that to, to bring us to the hospital to realize if we're becoming depressed, to find out about things that we wouldn't think about, but the AI will know. Because again, it's coming no matter what. Let's use it to our advantage rather than to our detriment. Interplanetary. Global warming, we need to leave Earth no matter what. We need to give it some time to heal. We need to get off, and besides, it's freaking awesome. Who doesn't want to live in space? <laughs> Libertarianism needs to be reclaimed, and we can use it to recruit our misguided and or ignorant comrades on the other side that don't realize that they're comrades yet. And best part of all, it's something we can do right this second. Yes, you, watching this video right now, can help us. We need artists, visionaries, anthems, merchandise, backers, anything. Spread this video. Share it to somebody who you know will help. What we need is everybody to, to have this idea in their head. We need to make fully automated gay space communism into ale so that we can turn it into reality. Let's workshop this into a movement. Please discuss this in the comments. Let me know what you think, if we can maybe change the name or tweak it in some way or something else so that we can help. Um, what I want to do is, this video is for leftists. We need a video for the whole world so that they know. We don't need to, so, so I, we need your help. We have a Discord and we are going to have a Patreon and a merch store soon. Thank you for listening, comrades. We can do this. Hail, hail. Who doesn't want to live in space? Who doesn't want to live in space?